In Python, strings, tuples, and lists are all sequences, which means they share a common set of powerful operations. You can access elements with indexing. S of J gives the element at position J, and Python even supports negative indexing, so S of minus 1 means give me the last element. Then we have slicing. It returns everything from start up to but not including stop. And with step, you can jump through the sequence. Yes, even with a negative step to reverse it. Sequences also support concatenation with plus and repetition with asterisk to duplicate elements. Now here's the important difference. Lists are mutable, so list of n equals x works, and even del list of n will remove an element. But strings are immutable, so str of n or del str of n will always fail. You can't change a character in place. These shared sequence operations make Python's data types incredibly convenient to work with in real programs.